Hi, this is Vessel from OnYourWeather.com. In this video we're discussing weather balloons, what they are and what they're being used for. Well, I'm pretty sure the majority of you might have seen weather balloons before, either in documentaries um, being mentioned during weather forecasts, and on the surface of it they look like a fairly simplistic device. It looks like your normal balloon with some kind of instrument attached below that. Well, what you don't know is how important weather balloons actually are and how versatile they are and how important they are for meteorology in general. Uh, if you just take into consideration the fact that weather balloons, about 67,000 uh, 67, of them gets launched every year in the United States alone. Apart from that, they start measuring data from the moment they get launched and they reach heights of up to 100,000 feet. That's way above the maximum altitude of your conventional aircraft. Uh, they take a wide variety of uh, atmospheric condition measurements, uh, which we'll get into, into uh, pretty shortly. So that just gives you an indication of how important and how widely used uh, weather balloons actually are. So let's just quickly get into the definition first. What exactly is a weather balloon? A weather balloon or sounding balloon is a device that carries meteorological instrumentation into the atmosphere. It consists of a radio sonde attached to a balloon that measures temperature, humidity, air pressure, wind and other data which are sent back to a base station on Earth for analysis. Okay, so that's the definition of a weather balloon. Uh, before we continue, if anything in this video is a bit unclear or you need additional information, I left a link to the full article um, about weather balloons in the description below this video. So if some, like I said, if something is a bit unclear or you need additional information, you can go and read the article by clicking the link uh, below this video and read it on your own time. Okay, so that's the definition, but what exactly does a weather balloon look like and what does it consist of? Let's take a closer look. A weather balloon consists of three primary components. The balloon itself, a small parachute, and the radio sonde or weather station below it. Let's start with the balloon itself. Uh, like most balloons we see at parties and special occasions, it's made up out of latex. But this is a much more durable, thick latex, uh, specially created to withstand uh, extreme atmospheric conditions. Uh, it's about 6 to 8 feet uh, in size, although you can get much larger balloons. Some of the balloons used for experiments in Antarctica, so big they can actually fill up a small stadium. Um, and we'll get to the payload just now. These balloons uh, tend to be or look sometimes a bit deflated when they get launched, although the one you see in the picture is almost fully inflated. The reason for this is once they get uh, launched, um, they're at ground level, at surface level, where the air pressure is pretty high. But as soon as they start ascending, they start moving into areas of less and less air pressure, so the air inside the balloon starts to expand. So if they're not deflated at the surface, they can blow up or explode very soon without reaching their um, designated height. Between the balloon and the radio sonde, you'll find a fairly small parachute. Uh, this plays a very significant role. Once your balloon reaches its designated height or it can't expand any further, it reaches its maximum capacity and explodes. In other words, there's nothing holding the radio sonde up in the air and it falls to the ground. Now, needless to say, it's not the cheapest piece of equipment in the world. And in an attempt to bring it back safely, a parachute, that little parachute, gets deployed to bring it home safely. And now we get to the radio sonde or weather station, which is the most critical part uh, of the setup. Uh, radio sonde is nothing more than a portable weather station, if you want to look at that. It's about the size of a shoebox, a little bit smaller maybe, maybe a little bit bigger. And as it starts to ascend, it measures a variety of atmospheric conditions, from temperature to wind, humidity, air pressure, etc. But it can measure other conditions as well. Some of these radio sounds can be very large, however, and very heavy. The one that was used in Antarctica a couple of years ago, that used a balloon the size of a small football stadium, actually weighed 6,000 pounds. Now that is the weight of a big SUV. So you can imagine the size and lifting power required for such a big payload. Okay, so as you just saw for yourself, a weather balloon might look like a very simplistic device. 
But if you look a little bit closer and take into consideration that it's a complete weather station com uh, attached to a little parachute which is attached uh, to the balloon itself, it's a little bit more complex than it might look like um, on the surface. Okay, now it comes to operation. We know what it looks like, we know it's different components, but how does it operate? Okay, let's have a look. Now the operation of a weather balloon can be divided into basically three different stages. The first stage is the assembly and launch phase, where the balloon gets filled with either helium or hydrogen for lifting and attached to the parachute and the radio sonde. In the second stage, the balloon is filled um, up to the appropriate capacity and it can start to ascend. As it starts to ascend, it can immediately start to make uh, recordings of atmospheric conditions around it, or it can be said to only start recording at a predetermined altitude. Now, as it ascends through the air and through the clouds, the air pressure outside the balloon keeps on decreasing, so the balloon grows larger as the air pressure inside increases, making the balloon expand. A weather balloon can reach heights of up to 100,000 feet, which makes them especially useful for making um, recordings and measurement in the upper atmosphere, specifically the stratosphere, which is beyond the capability of conventional aircraft and below the capacity of low Earth orbiting satellites, which make these uh, weather balloons ideal for doing upper atmospheric uh, measurements. In the third and final stage of the operation of a weather balloon, the balloon has reached its maximum capacity or designated altitude. It can't hold the pressure inside anymore and it bursts or explodes. And at this point, the parachute below it gets deployed and hopefully bring the radio sound back safely to the surface of the Earth. And that is a weather balloon in summary, or rather a sounding balloon as it is also known. As you saw for yourself now, a weather balloon might look simplistic and might not look like it's that important, but it's an invaluable uh, device for meteorologists across the world. The fact that over 67,000 of them are being used or launched uh, in the United States alone every year should tell you enough. Um, as I also mentioned, they're being used um, to measure uh, conditions in the upper atmosphere by meteorologists, but they're also being used by other institutions like space agencies like NASA. For instance, before rocket launches, they need to know what the conditions in the upper atmosphere will be like. So weather balloons are being used extensively um, by these organizations also. So uh, the next time you see a weather balloon, don't take it for granted. These are very valuable devices. Uh, Another thing I need to add, if you do, something is a bit unclear uh, that I mentioned during this video or you need more information, I left a link to the article in the description below the video. So if you want to get some more information or like I said, something is a bit unclear, you can just click the link below the, the, in the description and you can go and read the full article on your own time. I hope this has been helpful um, and interesting. Uh, if you like this kind of video, give me a like, it helps me a lot. If you like also to receive upcoming videos um, describing different meteorological devices, different meteorological uh, phenomena, weather conditions, how they occur, what they are, um, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification button next to it and you'll be reminded as soon as another video gets released. Like I said, I hope this has been helpful, hope you enjoyed this and until next time, keep your eye on the weather. Cheers.